My name's Dan Baer. I'm an architect here at Shepherd Robson. I'm Lee Bennett. I'm a design director at Shepherd Robson Architects in Camden. I work principally in the education field. Tricky projects in London, so that seems to be where I've found my niche. When we pitch for a project, we've usually in a very have a very curt time scale. So we're looking at days in which to produce some material. Often the best means of getting an idea to a potential client is through hand drawings and sketches. We generally sort of sit downstairs together in a group and start sketching out um, some ideas and some, some strategies for how we're going to deal with those basic things. And generally out of that it can evolve quite quickly into a series of sketches. Okay, we're going to split the buildings up this way. Um, this bit can be a bit taller, this bit should be low. How are we going to resolve this relationship? It's a very sort of organic process. When you're working with a computer, there's a, there's a machine in the way. When you're drawing, it's an instant connection between your brain and the paper. And there's something kind of instant about it and magical. And the thought process is different when you're drawing. Um, to when you're working in a computer, you're, you're trying to figure out how the computer works. Computer's brilliant for, for generating lots of options and dealing with repetitive tasks or generating complex geometries. You know, you can scribble in trees and people very quickly and it some, some, somehow brings an idea to life and you're not just spinning around in the computer. My main focus um, at the moment, or has been over the last few years, is a project called Fitzroy Place, and it's nearing completion now. So we're starting to see the fruits. I'm very pleased that Estee Lauder are going to take it as their headquarters in London. Brings together residential and offices, and is kind of a cohesive master plan, and has um, a real relationship to the to the neighbourhoods around it. Well, Wangels College is actually a school of 1,500. There's incredibly complex um, phasing problems because we were completely constrained. We couldn't build in any of the playing ground. We couldn't build in any of the playing fields. We couldn't build in the car park. Our footprint of build was incredibly tight. So when we convinced Wokingham Council in part by sketches, I did a sketch that showed a big single vessel of a school with an atrium in the middle. I did a sketch next to that showing three schools of 500 with a tree-filled courtyard. And the fourth element is the communal facility which houses the assembly hall, the canteen, the library and so on and so forth. That sketch, which we show quite a lot, was instrumental in having the client believe that that was the best way forward for the school. Drawing by hand, it's very nimble. You can quickly move from one element of the building to another. As soon as someone starts talking to me, I'll generally it triggers an idea that, that you want to start sketching out. That is just a fabulous means of communication. It, can, it's, it just shortcuts a whole load of stuff. The reality of it is, I think most of us work really, really hard. Wouldn't recommend as an architect as a boyfriend necessarily. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs>